Hey adventurers! Well, we've got 20,000 Ks on the beast. It's time to do spark plugs. Uh, apparently, uh, there's a bit of a mod you can do. There's um, some, because normally to get this to the spark plugs, you've got to take the tank off and move ABS units and all sorts of things. But there's a mod you can do where you can gain access through the side to be able to do it. Um, without taking the tank off and this should be handy for if we're ever need to de if we ever need to dewater the bike um, because we dumped it in a river uh, of course we'll try not to do that but it's good to be prepared uh, I also need to work out what tools I need to take uh, on any future trips so that I can remove spark plugs in the event that that happens so um, let's get to it so one thing I do like about the T7 is it's it's quite easy to get uh, all the panels off. One, two, and three, and then two small ones just under the nose here, which go through the radiator guard. And then we don't have to take the crash bars off or anything. Um, this panel comes off. We just got to unclip uh, one electrical connector for the um, indicator, and the panel's off. You know that's it's so easy. Now because we're going to take the tank off, we don't have to worry about this plastic cover. But we need to get um, seat side panels off so that we can get to a couple of the bolts here to lift the tank off. So this one comes off. So this panel has a Velcro strip at the front that just sort of holds the holds the front on and then the screw to this other panel. So we've got side panel, small, small. So we've got three panels off on each side. And for the tank, you, you want to leave these two. They don't, they're just, uh, they're rubber mounted to the, to the tank. But if you leave this bracket here, you can't lift the tank out because of the angle of this. So you want to undo these four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now it'll slide back, and then what I do is I just yeah bring it back a, a bit, lift it up, and then we can get to the uh, pipes from under the front. I'll show you that. Uh, so yeah, here we can lift up the tank. We've got an electrical connector, which just clicks off like all electrical connectors. We've got uh, the overflow hose, which you can just usually pull off by hand. That's all right, and then the fuel line. So this one has a safety so you have to push the red bit up and then when you push it up there's two little buttons here so you can just push them in and slide that off. Um, some Usually a bit of fuel comes out of here because that, that is normally a pressurized line because this is the fuel pump. Um, so yeah you get a bit of fuel coming out of, uh, out of here. Uh, and then yeah your tank is off. I hardly understand it. I can see something through this little gap. I can just fit my finger in there. So I don't know how you're going to get a spark plug socket down there. You have to feed the spark plug socket in there somehow and drop it into the hole and then get your extension and go down there. And this side, well that plastic tray, oh no, 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 you could do the same thing. But what a nightmare. That is ridiculous. So I think this mod is a good thing. So what we're going to do is just move these wires up and take these plugs out which have little pins on them. So we'll, we'll have a look at that. Okay, so we have this plastic tray that we want to get out and there is one, two, three and four um, plugs clipped to it. Basically we want to, we want to unclip those plugs remove the tray and then tie these plugs up to the rest of the, the bunch and that gives us a lot of room in through this point. Um, so the plugs are just these simple type where you just squeeze them together uh, and then just push them down and they'll pop straight out. Easy. Okay then to get this uh, plastic out there is two bolts. A 10mm bolt here 
and a 10 mil bolt here. So just two bolts and then this tray should come out. Okay, with the two bolts removed, this plastic is now loose. We can lift this up and slide it out somehow. Okay, there we go. So this is the piece of plastic that we want to remove. We'll just get a weight saving of 108 grams. So what we've done, I've just actually wrapped a little bit of rubber around here just so that nothing really rubs. Kept it a fairly tight bunch. Tied some wires up here, tied some wires across there and basically we're left with this gap. Um, so after the tanks and everything is back on, we can remove the side panel and we can get access in here. And so in that hole, uh, you can see that we have the um, the coils and the plugs. So I will change them now while it's even easier with the tank off, but then um, we'll test it with the tank on. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so now with that wire bundled back up, everything put back together, um, we can access the spark plug. Um, the spark plugs without taking too much of the bike apart but based on what I had to do to change those spark plugs with the tank off um, that was an absolute nightmare uh, I will be avoiding dewatering <laughs> this bike at all costs it's um, not just changing the spark plugs is not a pleasant job. Yeah, so by reaching in through here now, you can see that I can grab the, uh, this is the coil here. I can unclip. So that's the coil lead. I can get my whole hand in there. And uh, that's what she said. And um, I can get that coil, coil cap off. Uh, and then you can get a driver in there and undo the spark plug but I'm telling you that that is not an easy job I know some people have said oh yeah you can do it but it is an absolute nightmare um, so you can see the you can see the coil cap in there by the time I get my hand in there and then I try and wiggle that out I I can I can get that out. You know, you, obviously you're doing this only in an emergency only. Um, when you need to change the spark plugs every twenty or forty thousand kilometres, it's not uh, that big a deal. Um, you can take the tank off and everything. So, I, but I think by the time I, if I if I have to dewater this thing, I'll just take the tank off and get easier access. I'll spend less time taking tanks and things off then I would just trying to jam my hand in here and go through the pain of getting those out uh, so it is just a regular you know 9 16 um, spark plug spanner I've got one with a magnet so it will lift the plug out but to make a short enough extension on this I have welded um, an allen key to a one of these, one of these, so I can plug this together. So I, I can, I can drop this down into the into the hole. I can reach, put this in, and click that on. Then, then I can get my socket in there, and yeah, this, the top of the hole is here. So I can un uncrack it, get it undone a couple of turns. And then I can get my hand in there and I can unscrew and then it will lift up to about this high. Uh, the top of the top of the hole. And then um, and then I had a nightmare because this won't lift vertically enough, you know, it hits things. So I have to unclick this and then fish this out with the spark plug in there. It, it's just terrible. I know some people have a little bendy one of these. I'll to, maybe I'll have to get something like that because it is a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. 
Um, yeah, probably the worst thing on the Tenere 700. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. That's my tip. See ya.